guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be filming a what is on my registry video I got so many people asking me to film this video I posted on Instagram the other day asking like what your guys' must-haves were on your registry and then a lot of people were like I want to see what's on your registry so that is what we're gonna do now just wanted to put it out there this is not a video saying you guys have to have these sorts of things on your registry this is just what I have researched and what we decided we thought would be best for our baby. So I really took a lot of time creating this registry. I did so much research on every single product. I made sure that it was the one that would fit best for our family, for our baby, for our lifestyle. I also looked up so many reviews. I looked at a bunch of different of each, a bunch of different things of each product. I consulted with moms who have used these things before or what they recommend and so on and so forth. So I feel like I have a very solid registry going on. So I am going to be breaking it down by category for you guys and what my must-haves are for each category. So first I want to talk about the registry that I'm using and that is MyRegistry.com. I absolutely love it because you literally can put anything on your registry from any store. So it is really easy to navigate. You could either take a picture of the product and then add the link. You could scan it in store or you can just save it to your registry off of whatever website you are looking at. So it is super easy to use. That is what I'm using now. This video is not sponsored by my registry at all. That would be cool though. That is just what I'm using and that is what I like and that is what has made it there's a little weenie. <laughs> it's just made it a lot easier to have everything all in one instead of just having a bunch of different registries. And I feel like it also makes it easier for your guests to go on to just one registry and you can see everything that is on there. So, so I have a lot of things on my registry. I'm going to try and go through all of them. Maybe I'll just kind of go through like the essentials. So the first category I am going to be talking about is feeding. So that is everything that has to do with feeding your baby, which is like breastfeeding, bottle feeding, bibs, all that sort of stuff. So I have a few different types of bottles. The reason why I have a few different kinds is because I don't know what my baby is going to like. I don't know if he will like a certain sort of like nipple on the bottle. I've heard parents go through like 10 different types of bottles. So I didn't want to have just one. I wanted to have a few different ones, a few different brands just to see what he likes. And yeah. And also the bottles that I have on there are glass. I definitely want to have uh, glass bottles. No really particular reason. I just feel like they're a little bit more safe than plastic. The first type of bottle that I have on my registry is the Baby Brezza. I think I'm saying that right. And it is a 14 piece glass set. It comes with three smaller bottles and three bigger bottles and then two extra lids and then like uh, bottle cleaning stuff. So that is on there from Bye Bye Baby. And the next type of bottle that I have is the Advent bottles. These are the eight ounce bottles. And it's a three pack and then they're glass ones too. And then I also have the four ounce Advent bottles on there as well. Another thing that I have is the Advent bottle warmer. And a lot of people have told me that it is a little bit pointless to have, but I personally can see myself using it and my husband using it. So another thing that we have is the Tommy Tippy, I think that's how you pronounce it, travel bottle warmer. So since we have the bottle warmer for at home, I wanted to get a travel one too. Next on the list is the Baby Brezza. I ho hope I'm pronouncing that right. I also don't my my dog in the back the formula pro dispenser it's almost like a little keurig for your formula and i wanted that because eventually baby is going to be drinking formula so i wanted just something like very quick that we can use again this is not something that is needed but definitely i feel like will come in handy for sure and then we just have the feeding essentials such as a drying rack and then a bottle brush also a little basket to uh, put in your dishwasher for all like the nipples and all the, the little things for your bottle. We also put a microwave sterilizer on there. I seriously had no idea what that was until a mom recommended it to me and said that you can even put your breast pump in there. So I found that super cool. It's like a steam sterilizer for your bottles. So we have that on there as well. I also have a lot of breast milk storage bags on there to build a freezer supply. That is probably very essential if you're planning on breastfeeding. So the pump on there that I have is that the willow pump if you guys haven't heard of the willow pump it is seriously like the greatest invention it is basically literally just like bra inserts for each 
boob and you literally just put them in your bra and it pumps and it's completely quiet people don't even know that you're pumping at all i have like major anxiety for pumping in public so i feel like i literally ugh, it like stresses me out pumping in public really just stresses me out so i put that one on there because i feel like that would be perfect for me with how much like i'm nervous about pumping so to just to have something that i can just slip in my bra and pump with just makes me feel like so much stress is lifted off my shoulders another thing that you guys recommended to me was the haka i think that's how you pronounce it. silicone manual breast pump so what I was told it is amazing for is when baby is breastfeeding off of one boob putting the silicone pump on the other to catch the leakage just so you're not wasting any of your milk I also have a lot of burp cloths on there and the burp cloths that I registered for are from copper pearl I put those on there because so many people have said they are amazing and that they are so soft and that they highly recommend them they come in packs of three for 20 bucks i feel like that's pretty decent but yeah i got a lot of recommendations for the copper pearl burp cloth and then i also put the copper pearl bandana bibs on there too and then one more thing in the feeding category and this is kind of for future use is the bumbo floor seat a lot of people recommended that to me and said that it was amazing and they love theirs something that you could just prop on the floor or your kitchen counter um, for your baby to sit in so moving on to like the care category this kind of has a, a few different things in there I'm gonna start with bath. So we do have two different types of like tubs if you will One is actually like a infant tub and then one is to use when he is a little bit bigger So the first tub that I have is the aqua scale digital scale and thermometer three-in-one infant bath I really really love this one It had a lot of amazing reviews and a lot of people recommended it to me And then the one that we want to use for when he is older is the angel care bathtub support in gray We also have a little hair washing rinser from skin it pop and it's just like the little whale one the care line that we decided to use is hello bello and also the honest brand those are two that i've had my eye on for a while hello bello just came out and i love what they stand for they're clean ingredients organic safe and also honest which is also organic from hello bello we have the sunscreen hand sanitizer diaper rash cream wipes baby lotion baby shampoo and body wash and then from honest we have the all-purpose balm we have shampoo and conditioner and lavender diaper rash cream and the soothing bottom wash so those are the like sort of bath and care essentials that we have from hello bello and honest some other care stuff that we have is aquaphor baby healing ointment i heard that is just a must to have for your baby and then baby bum natural coconut balm i wanted to have a few different like healing ointments on there just to see which one baby would like and also which one would help the most the last few care things that we have are the Frida Baby Derma Frida the Skin Soother Silicone Bath Brush. So I thought this would be good to wash baby's hair because it's soft and gentle but also helps kind of get all the yucky stuff out of his scalp. And then we have the Burt's Bees cotton washcloths and then we also have some copper pearl washcloths. So that is all that we have on there for the care and bath category. Moving on to kind of the baby gear and the gadgets and all that kind of stuff. First we have the Four Moms Rockaroo Infant Swing. My nephew used this and he loved it and I loved it so much. I've also heard amazing reviews about it so I definitely wanted to put that on there. For a baby monitor we have the Arlo Baby Baby Monitor. The reason why I wanted that one my mother-in-law actually recommended it to me and you don't have to have the actual monitor you can just view baby from your phone and also if you're not home and your husband's home with the baby or you're home with the baby and the husband's not you guys can log on to the I think it's an app and you can see baby from wherever. Also records too. For our our car seat we have the up a baby 2017 mesa infant car seat this is the one that i've had my eye on for a while now i think the up a baby car seat is a really really nice car seat to have it has amazing reviews it is very safe and i absolutely love it for our high chair we have the four moms high chair obviously baby's not going to be using a high chair right away but i wanted to put one on there because that is definitely something we are going to need and that we are going to use for my diaper bag i did so much research 
on what diaper bag I feel like would be best for me. And the one that I went with was the freshly picked diaper bag. The larger one, not the smaller one. I absolutely love it. I love how big it is. I love how much you can put in it and all that great stuff. The next thing I have on there is the Owlette Smart Sock. I feel like a few of you will be like, wow, you're, you have a camera on there plus the Owlette Smart Sock. They are both like a monitor, so it might be a little bit silly to have both on there. But I have just heard amazing, amazing things about the Owlette Smart Sock. And the sock can detect so many different things that a camera can't. So like oxygen levels, I think heart rate, blood pressure, I don't know, just a bunch of different things that you can just monitor off of your phone. And it just, I feel like will definitely give us more peace of mind about our baby, um, mostly because we want him to sleep in his own room as soon as he can. So it'll just kind of give us a little bit more peace of mind to be able to see him and also to monitor all those different sorts of things. We also have the Frida Baby 3-in-1 humidifier and diffuser and nightlight. I definitely wanted to have a humidifier just in case baby gets cold and also to put some like essential oils in there. And then we have the Hatch Baby Rest Sound Machine with nightlight. I've heard so many amazing things about the Hatch Baby. It has seriously changed people's lives and their baby just sleeps so much better with the Hatch Baby. So I knew we definitely needed that. We also have a diaper genie that is a must. If you guys don't know what a diaper genie is, you definitely need it. Next, the mattress that we chose was the Moonlight Slumber Little Dreamers Crib Mattress. And this one had so many amazing reviews saying that it's breathable. It's like a good firmness for a newborn. It can grow with the baby and it just lasts a really long time. So I definitely wanted to get that one. Next we have a changing pad and then I put a few different changing pad covers on there because I know we'll probably go through a lot of them or just be washing them. So I definitely put a few on there because I feel like one is just not enough. And then next I have two different Docatot covers. We're actually getting a Docatot from my sister-in-law. She used it for my nephew so we get to use that. So I just registered for some covers. And then next I registered for a shopping cart hammock. I have seen these everywhere and it seems like amazing to have for your baby and you can grow with it. It's just like a little hammock that you put over the cart and then you can put your baby in there. <laughs> Bless you. Next, I have a few different car seat covers, one from Copper Pearl and then one from Little Miss Dessa. I also like these ones because you can use them as a cover for nursing. I have a few different carriers on my registry, one of them being from Tuck and Bundle. I've heard so many great things about them. Then I have two different wild bird slings on there. My sister-in-law uses the wild bird slings and I absolutely love them and I love that baby can just grow with them. But I also love the Tuck and Bundle one for when they're like just a newborn. Next, I have a few different types of binkies. Same kind of with the bottles. I don't know what baby will like as far as the nipple on the binky goes. So the two that I have on there is the Bibs USA binkies and then the Ryan and Rose Cutie Pat binkies. I also have some pacifier clips on there. I have a few different ones um, just because I know that baby spit out their binkies a lot. So I just want it connected to his clothes. So if he does spit it out, then it won't fall far. And also I have binky wipes. So just in case that his binky does fall on the floor, I have wipes to kind of clean it a little bit. Moving on to some other sort of gadgets, but very necessary things. I have a portable changing pad that also has pockets for wipes and diapers to just throw in my diaper bag. I have a retractable bag dispenser to throw in my diaper bag. Just in case I have to change the baby's diaper in the car, I can just throw the dirty diaper in one of those bags. And then I also have a on the go wipe case. I registered for two mirrors to put in the car so we can see the baby when he is rear facing. One for my car, one for my husband's car. I registered for the Frida Baby Bitty Bundle four piece kit. That was a mouthful, but it has a bunch of different essentials from Frida Baby. I love the Frida Baby line. And then something that I didn't think about registering for was a emergency kit and it has all different sorts of things in there. The one that I registered for was the American Red Cross one from Bye Bye Baby. Another thing from Frida Baby that I have on there is a three-piece Breathe Easy kit. And in there you have the Vapor Rub wipes, Vapor Rub, and then a Vapor Drops. So I thought that was very nice to have just in case baby gets a cold. Something else that I have on my registry that I definitely did not think about registering for, but a few moms told me that these were 
essential for them was disposable baby changing pads. So these are great for if baby just has a really bad blowout and then you want to just lay one of those down on your changing pads or just to have in your diaper bag just for quick changes anywhere. I thought that was just brilliant to have disposable changing pads. <laughs> Next on my list, I have a lot of different clothes. So I'm not gonna go through like each different like outfit that I have, but I did register for clothes from zero to 12 months. I've heard a lot of moms say that they really just registered for things that they would need for the baby about like zero to six months, and then they were left with having to buy so many things as soon as baby hit six months. And also babies just grow so fast. Some of the brands of clothes that I registered for are from Zara and H&M, Spearmint Baby, Little Bipsy. I've kind of realized I'm definitely not into like the bright and obnoxious colors. I'm definitely more into like the earth tones, natural, neutral colors for babies. So Zara and H&M definitely have literally the style that I absolutely love for baby. I also registered for a bunch of different swaddles. I will kind of tell you the brands of swaddles. I registered for a lot of Mebi baby swaddles. I actually bought the baby a Mebi baby swaddle that I showed you guys in our last vlog and I love the quality of them, so I registered for a few more. And then I registered for a few sleep sacks, and then also the Happiest Baby Swaddle, and a Miracle Blanket Swaddle. I also registered for a lot of the Lulu Swaddles. I've heard amazing things about that brand too, and a lot of their knotted gowns as well. Also, I have a bunch of different socks in a bunch of different sizes, because those are just, I feel like are gonna be lost like crazy, and some of the hand mittens as well. Next I have a lot of different teethers on there and a play mat and just a bunch of different toys and I also have a lot of different books on there too. Obviously he's not going to be reading as soon as he gets here but I know a lot of people love to buy books for the baby so I have a bunch of different books in Spanish because if you guys don't know my husband is Mexican so we really want the baby to be bilingual. And then last but not least I have some mommy care items on there such as nipple pads. <laughs> well I guess I can say it in a bit nicer way. I have nursing pads on there. I have gel pads on there to soothe the nips when baby likes to suck on them. Excuse my nails. And then I also have some nipple cream on there as well. So that is pretty much it for everything I have on my registry. I tried to go through most of it and just really the essentials in each category. I didn't go through like each little thing, but I definitely said a lot of different things that were on my registry. Registry. Again, I really did so much research on all of these products and asked around, looked at reviews, looked at a bunch of different of each thing just to make sure that this is exactly what I want. So I hope this helped you guys if you have no idea what to put on your registry. I will leave a link to all the products down below so you guys can check them out if you want to put them on your registry. If you guys have any suggestions of things I may have missed, again, I didn't say everything, but definitely leave your must have down below. Maybe some of these things you found useless for you, but I definitely can see myself and my husband and my baby using all of these products. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also leave your suggestions for video ideas down below. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll put my name right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.